The third event of the 2020 F4 British Championship, certified by FIA, powered by Ford EcoBoost, was held at Alton Park. Zach O'Sullivan led the championship coming to Cheshire, but Luke Browning won the first of three races, setting up a fascinating competition for the remainder of the weekend. This is going to be a superb semi-reverse grid race that we're going to see with Frederick Lubin. Happy 16th birthday, Frederick. What a reward for him, pole position. Alex Connor next up, and then James Headley, who was on pole position yesterday. Casper Stevenson next to him. Zach O'Sullivan, the championship leader, row three, with Luke Browning. Next up is Roman Belinsky from Christian Mansell. Then it's Abby Pulling and Nat Hodgkiss. And all JHR row five, row six, Nico Pino and Matthias Sagazetta. Greek completed Greek. by Rima Jafali and Roberto Faria. Roberto, the only non-finisher in yesterday's race. The lights are on, though, ready for this one. And is the birthday boy going to get it away? It is, of course, an all Arden front row. Alex Connor makes a decent start. Have we got somebody slow off the grid? Superstar by Frederick Lubin, who goes through into the position. Alex Connor, remember, won the opening race of the year, but Lubin goes wide. Oh, he doesn't. Uh, they're side by side. Connor's going to have a go and gets through into the lead. Lubin still in second position. Casper Stevenson is third as they come down to Cascades for the first time. I tell you what, behaving themselves very well so far very very tricky conditions and I can't think of a worse track for wet weather for single seaters at all Parkville. It, it certainly is it's very slippy you have to drive offline to get any grip at all but it was I think it was Zach O'Sullivan our championship leader who got the bad start because he seems to have dropped away you've got Browning I think he's in third now but uh, the Arden cars are looking strong Lubin is still in second but look at uh, Connor leading the race now. Yeah, what about that Lewis um, Luke Browning up into third position? He's the white and red Fortec car, and he is looking to try and emulate Zane Maloney from last year and take a hat-trick. And we're looking ahead already to the third race because Browning is on pole for the third race. He thought he'd ju just done enough to grab double pole, but he made a little mistake, I think, on, on his uh, fastest lap, and he was picked two pole position by James Heavy. It's good to see James up on that pole. But again, a very competitive championship this year. We're going to have to watch Browning though in third position. He's going to be after that hat trick. Now coming under pressure from Roman Belinsky, he's having a good look down the inside. Superb move by Belinsky to pass his teammate. Yeah, absolutely superb. As they go into Cascade, it's a very difficult place to, to overtake there because it drops away. You've got no grip on the inside either. So he did a great job. You can see Lubin was scrabbling around for grip. Lubin seems to be dropping back a little bit here, obviously being a rookie in these tricky conditions. Headley goes around the outside, that's where the grip is. He runs a little bit wide, but he's made the move stick and made up another place, so Headley's now up to fifth. Yeah, great move by Headley, the outright pole position man for this meeting, and some good, decent points in the offing for him now up into fifth place, working hard, the Hampshire man. Charlie's going wide. Yeah, she Rima's up. going wide. Keep it going. Try and get through the crowd. No, she's not got no steering there, but manages to get through. That was that was good. Yeah, she was just trying to go on the outside of the pair of the uh, JHR cars who were battling away, locked up and went straight on and managed just to stop herself from hitting the wall. Oh, is she going to get the inside of putting us a late move? Oh, very late move. It's too late in fact. It you was. Can see it was desperation of trying to get past. But it just shows how well pulling was. Oh, you can see Zagazette has just gone straight on, just like his teammate did, and now he's going to have to do he's the same. He's got to go the long way around. But here we go again with Browning with the fastest lap of the race now. Is he going to be able to stick a move down the inside of Alex? But he gets good drive out of turn one. Is, uh, is he going to be able to have enough momentum to maybe lay break? Oh, no, Connor's got it covered. Great bit of driving from Connor. Brownie's on the outside now, though. Is he going to be able to pick up more grip? Connor's still got it covered. He Brownie has. wants those three wins, doesn't he? But unfortunately, no prize from this year. No, that's right. The thing for Browning, he's got to be careful he doesn't throw it all away here, making a rash move for the lead. I know Luke won't do that, but he's again going to the outside line as they come round the hairpin. What sort of run can he get on the outside line? Connor comes across. Connor's having none of it. Browning, he's trying absolutely everything. He knows he's got the pace. He probably knows he's got fastest lap. Down from Hilltop into his lob, side by side again. Connor's got the inside line and he's defending. Oh. They're still their banging tyres and Browning can't quite find the way past. This is a proper single seater race between these two. Oh, now Browning has a look, jinx to the left, jinx to the right again. Outside line here, this is where oh, we're on the outside. Oh, we're on the outside. 
an old hall corner. They're side by side. He's going to be on the grass. He's got the line as they go down into oh, the trap. They, they, they tangle. They tangle. Oh, they no, tangle. Oh, no, they no, what want you to see. That's not what I want to see at all. You can see he went to the outside as he came through turn one and then had the run going down into the kink before Cascades, but they've just made contact. I don't think that was anything malicious at all. They just, unfortunately, were, were battling for the lead, and, oh. uh, and it gets so tight as you come down into that kink. Checkered flag for Luke Browning, who makes it two out of two here this weekend at Alton Park in the wet. Second position, Casper Stevenson, third place. Roman Belinsky on the podium. Then it was uh, James Headley coming through for fourth place. Abby Pulling's going to get a fifth, so good championship points for Abby Pulling. Here she comes in the 49 car ahead of Frederick Lubin. The 16th birthday boy grabs the rookie class win. Here's the result, Luke Browning takes the win. Casper Stevenson second, maiden podium for Roman Belinsky. James Headley in fourth from Abby Pulling and rookie class winner Frederick Lubin. Roberto Faria was seventh, good drive through for him. Uh, from the back, Nico Pino second in the rookies, is eighth from Zach O'Sullivan, who was in the points, uh, and tenth final point scorer is Rima Jafali. Nat Hodgkiss recovered for 11th place ahead of Christian Mansell and Matthias Sakaseta, as we saw Alex Connor very sadly was out of luck. Luke Browning on pole from James Headley, Zach O'Sullivan in P3 from Alex Connor, Roberto Faria on row three with Casper Stevenson. Abby Pulling on row four, next to her is Roman Belinsky, Frederick Lubin and Nat Hodgkiss on row five, Nico Pino and Christian Mansell on the sixth row, row seven completing the grid, Matthias Sagazetta and Rima Jafali. So getting ready for round nine of the championship. Five second board goes out, watch for the lights and ready for F4 championship action here at Alton Park. Lights out, looks good from Browning, gets away well. I think they're all away pretty well too. Good start, some dry weather, the reward for a hard weekend's work. And it's Browning leading from James Headley in second position. Zach O'Sullivan in the blue Carlin car is third. They've all made it around Old Hall and they make an impressive sight. Linus third as they come down into Cascades for the first time. Yeah, Headley's looking quite racy. He got a good start as well, so he's on the back of Browning. Let's see if O'Sullivan can do something because he had a nightmare in race two and uh, ended up having collision with, uh, with pulling. Browning is soaking up the pressure, he's just set the fastest lap of the race, 24.007. So great lap time yeah. from, uh, from Browning, and he's realised that obviously Headley was catching him, he's got his head down and stuck in that lap time, great lap time for him. Gap seven tenths between Luke Browning and James Headley, who's giving him a, a bit of a workout here. He's taken half a second out of him in that first sector, so I thought he looked a lot closer. Leader of the rookie category, Christian Mansell, up ahead of Casper Stevenson. Stevenson with the fastest up, Stevenson's rocket, you might say. He's trying to close down on the Aussie. But it still hasn't crossed the line. Now, James Headley, fastest lap. He's closing up on the last lap on Luke Browning. Are we going to have a grandstand finish, Phil? It looks that way, doesn't it? He set the uh, fast level of 23.5 the last lap, and he's looking quick in this first sector. Now he's right on his gearbox as they come out of the chicane. Has Browning done enough? It looks like he's pulled away a little bit up the hill, but Headley's looking very racy right at the end of the race. He should have pushed a little bit earlier because uh, we've only got a couple of corners to go. Yeah, very competitive racing once again, and Headley, who is six in the championship, deserves to be further up than that. But here they come, it's Browning, who is soaking up the pressure on these last few laps. He made a great start and got away. It hasn't been an easy race for him by any stretch of the imagination, but through, dear me, for the last, he has done it. He's going to come down to the chequered flag, and it's a, an historic hat-trick for Fortec and Luke Browning here at Alton Park wins the race from James Headley, Zach O'Sullivan third, Roberto Farah in fourth place, Alex Connor in fifth, Abby Pulling in sixth position from Roman Belinsky. Here is our leading rookie coming through shot, the 51 car of Christian Mansell. Then it was Casper Stevenson from Nico Pino. Third position in the rookies goes to Matthias Sacaseta. Here's how they finish. Luke Browning makes it a hat-trick at Alton Park from James Headley, who got the fastest lap. Zach O'Sullivan completes the podium. Fourth goes to Roberto Faria. Alex Connor in fifth ahead of Abby Pulling and Roman Belinsky. Christian Mansell eighth, winning the rookie category. Casper Stevenson ninth and Nico Pino in tenth.
11th goes to Matthias Sakaseta. Rima Jafali 12th ahead of Frederick Lubin. Non finish sadly for Nat Hodgkiss. Yeah, Luke Brown, and congratulations. Uh, sum it all up just about the perfect weekend. <laughs> exactly. I mean, just the perfect weekend at home to take the triple crown is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, uh, I was trying to manage that race a little bit, <laughs> but yeah, I think the, the rights were a little bit knackered. We've uh, done quality in race one on them, so uh, it was a little bit sketchy around Cascades, but everywhere else just felt absolutely insane. I can't thank Fortech enough for the car. Uh, and yeah, I'm just so happy. Yeah, and it's only Carlin that's ever done this before. What would this mean to, to the Fortech team? Oh, for sure, you know, we're here to battle that this year. We're, we're top of the team championship, top of the drivers, and uh, yeah, that, that's the plan to come and take it. Tell us about the tension of those last few laps. Uh, James Headley putting you under a uh, fair bit of pressure. Yeah, to be fair, it, it was all manageable. Um, it's really hard to overtake around here. You know, it's the aim of the games to win at the slowest possible pace. So um, yeah, I was just driving around, managing, managing the pace, and um, yeah, it, it worked out perfectly. Yeah, and championship lead now as well to uh, uh, to take on to Knock Hill. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not sure how many points it is, but yeah, it's um, it's a good cushion. You haven't got far to go. Uh, how are you going to celebrate tonight? <laughs> Local pub, maybe. <laughs> no, maybe, maybe not. Probably a, a night in with the family. Jolly good. Well, well, you deserve some kind of a celebration. It's a great effort by yourself and the team as well. Uh, a hat trick, the triple crown for Luke Browning and Fortec. Move aside. Uh, James Headley hopefully is there as well. Uh, if we can get a word with uh, James. Not sure if he's there or not. There he is. James, well done. <laughs> Uh, second place, and my word, you put him under some pressure, especially in that last lap. Could the challenge have come a bit sooner? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I was always catching him, then he would put a little gap, and then I was catching him. I think it's just the way it worked. Um, but yeah, you know, it was a tough race. Uh, but yeah, it's good to see we've got some good pace. So. Yeah, we've had Zach O'Sullivan to the fore. We've now got Luke up there. It's a very, very competitive F4 championship, this, isn't it? Oh, yeah, very competitive. I think always Collie's the toughest thing and probably the most important. Uh, I think the top three are always in the tenth of each other, so yeah, very competitive. Your thoughts on building on what you've done here and what you might achieve at Knock Hill? Um, well, I love Knock Hill. Knock Hill's my favourite track. And we had some good results there last year, so um, yeah, we'll just see what we can do there. OK, well done today, James. Uh, is Zach O'Sullivan there as well? If he is, uh, usher him in and we'll have a quick word with the man who came to Alton Park as championship leader. Uh, I mean, not quite the uh, the winning run that you've been on, but um, sum up what seems like a solid weekend. Yeah, um, P2 um, in race one, which is quite good considering the circumstances. Um, P9 in race two, a pretty scrappy race for myself. Um, made a quite a few mistakes. And then, yeah, um, last race was a bit difficult. Um, just lacked a bit of pace. Um, but yeah, we'll have to look into that. Um, it's quite hard to overtake any here anyway. So after the first lap, it was pretty processional from there. So what do you need to do in terms of refocusing? You're out of the championship lead, but uh, obviously uh, probably the number one contender. Exactly. It's so um, early on in the season still. I think we've still got nearly 18 races to go, so I'm not really thinking about it too much. Um, I keep on doing my job. I'm um, striving to improve, and we should be up there towards the end of the year. It's not an easy thing, a triple crown. Three race wins in a weekend. A quick word for Luke Browning. Yeah, he did a great job, obviously. Um, the wet conditions in race two obviously favoured him a bit. Uh, being his second year, he had a bit of experience. Uh, but yeah, he did a great job all weekend. And congrats to him.